Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 4. Okay, in the previous episode we got some kind of like a group of allies. Uh, they are called Xenos and they're also like intelligent monsters which are completely new to the people of Orario. So that is the reason why they are not accepting them and Oranos has kind of a plan I'm guessing like to um, like use Bell. Uh, use is kind of like uh, like does not sound right. Uh, like he wants Bell to like pave a path and be that person who introduces uh, these new type of like uh, species I'm guessing Xenos uh, to the like ordinary people and because they are not accustomed to this new kind of like thing that is intelligent monsters they are afraid of them so Oranos has I, I think this plan of making uh, like Bell the person uh, who like introduces this uh, new type of beings uh, that is Xenos into the human world or the lower world and uh, like he called Hestia I'm guessing he like has uh, like wants to tell Hestia about his plan or about uh, like uh, concerning her familia so let's see what happens and Bell has now a big group of like allies uh, behind him and this will be a, like a good uh, what can I say uh, boost to their power because the whole Orario is against them so they need a lot of allies and a lot of firepower mm, so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with Tanmachi season 3 episode number 4 okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay here's the countdown 3 2 1 go Okay, we're starting with the opening, like right away. One thing I'm like, uh, I think Heste has like a minor role in this season because the main th thing that like is happening and everything is like uh, revolving around Bell and um, uh, what was her name? Wiene. And his familia, like, like Hestia has a minor role, I think, because there's nothing she can do. Like, she is like just the moral support. And yeah, the main thing that, uh, like, the things that everyone has to do is like all on Bell and his familia members, like Mikoto, Welf, and all of them. Damn, like, I'm thinking, like, the, about the fight that is probably going to happen, that is, Ice and Bell. Let's see. Oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> my god. I can't look at bunnies the same way. What are they doing? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that a dragon? <laughs> oh my god, what is... Oh. Wow, there are a lot of people. Um. <laughs> Look at Bill's face. What the hell is that? Um, I don't think you. Sh oh, okay. I think that was like uh, um, chili, hot chili paper. Mm 
Hmm. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Um. Oke. Okay. Okay. So I, I like they have intelligence but not as diverse as like the humans I'm guessing. God damn, there's a lot of like creatures. Oh. Wow, there's a unicorn as well. Cross. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, like Fels knows about them. Oh, so the guild also knows. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, so not everyone in the guild knows. Okay. Just directly from Uranus, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, not all monsters, I'm guessing, like all, only the intelligent monsters. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, is that so? Damn. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is a gamble he's taking, like mm, yeah, that's also But like Bell won't listen, like Bell is going to do whatever he like thinks is best. Oh. Hmm. Is a four. That's quite low. Like Bell is three. And I think Aisha was also four, wasn't she? Oh. Well, obviously.
How the hell are they saying stuff like this? Because like they're like level four, so okay. Oh, who? Oh, Ganesha knows. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Wait, is that so? Okay. Well, there's like a deep... Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I don't think so. Former human. Wait, wait, is it really going to show? Okay. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> wait, this is like, this is the eternal life? Okay. Oh, so. Hmm. Okay. Tells the fool. Okay. Hmm. Okay, all right. So like they're making a new community because like the other monsters won't expect them uh, accept them. Oh, and uh, the humans won't accept them as well. Aren't born. Oh, okay. So this is not a spawn point, okay. What do? Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um Yeah. Okay. Yeah, obviously, like, they want freedom as well, like... Like... Like, they have intelligence, so they also want, like, to see the outside world.
Yeah, I, I noticed that, yeah. Like, previous life or something? Well, yeah, as I was saying, like, like they have intelligence and they also have these longings. Our mom. Who mom? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this is like a ray of hope for them. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Underworld or something? Oh, the labyrinth, okay. Born in depths of the labyrinth. In a different form. Okay. Oh. Will of the dungeon. Mm. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like he he was like having that problem before, like Bell after meeting with um Vina. Wait, what? Wait, why? Like... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh, alright. So, yeah, like thinking about it now, like this is kind of like the correct thing to do, but. All right. 
well time to change the world <laughs>
like what can I say that Haruhime has the level boosting power so I think Bell can like take um like be equally powerful uh with uh, like uh like uh, he can like go against the dicks because he's like level four and okay that is the end okay he is like level four and well i'm guessing he's level three uh yeah and harumi has the like level boosting power so but there's like one problem that is they're heavily outnumbered uh like bell's familia only has um how many members four or five of them uh and like the ecolos family is a lot more so even if like bell is able to like go head to head against uh dicks like there are a lot of like uh members who can like act as a backup for him so yeah the like uh the um, numbers the number of people is going to be a big disadvantage to them and uh, like uh one thing i like uh the xenos were are like on their side but i don't know like uh if they like like in this episode we saw like uh some of them like getting killed and i'm guessing in the next episode we'll also like get to see some of them like some more of them getting killed or like captured so like the numbers are like reducing uh, they said they have like 40 of them so yeah like i think the eagles family is a lot like bigger like there are a lot of people so i don't know like how are they going to like they have like the number like uh they have the quantity even though like bell's team has the quality uh the quantity is going to like pose a threat uh for them yeah we'll see probably see how they like are going to like uh counteract this and um okay so like we've knew, uh, got uh to know a few characters uh one of them is gross and like uh as far as we can see like uh, there is like a kind of like a division between the people uh like some of them are against the idea of like trying to interact with people uh, even if they has they're like good people uh, like bell's team because like uh they obviously like they has this kind of prejudice because they uh, have been like um exposed to the uh cruelness of humans and like the the bad part of the humans and they don't know like there are also like exceptions to these people people like bell who are like kind-hearted from their heart and like will try to like help people uh they don't uh like know that so that kind of and also there are like other uh, like another group that is like um uh, what was his name um the lizard man what was what was his name i forgot um god damn it it was like a simple name why did i fall why the hell did i forget it anyways uh like you guys can understand who i'm talking about uh, the lizard uh, man and uh, the harpy like like them they are more like uh, who wants to see like uh like who wants to like experience the good of like they have a faith in the human like uh, good portion of humans uh so they're like uh, putting their faith on bell and uh, they also like have this uh like dream of uh getting outside and uh, being free obviously like here's one thing like uh the difference what is the difference between people like human beings and animals uh human beings have like these desires uh desires for example um like uh any type of desires like for, uh, like uh expecting like uh, like uh, i'm not talking about food uh shelter clothing these are like uh normal like uh desires uh, animals have only three desires number one is food number two is like uh i think um uh, reproduction that is uh, like um, making more of their kin and number three is shelter these three are the main thing if an animal uh, if an animal has these three things they won't do any other thing that is why they don't advance but human uh, like except uh, like uh, like including these three things humans have many other like desires for example uh, desire of clothing one of them uh, 
uh, desire of what else mm, many other desires you, you guys can understand what i'm talking about uh, like i have a desire for <laughs> like majority of us like who are you who are, you are watching me and i'm watching uh, like animes we have a desire for anime like these type of things so like that's what makes us human so similarly like where, where does this come from intelligence and uh, like like un, like the a, like what can i say the ability to understand the outside world these things make these kind of desires and obviously these like xenoses they also have like human intelligence so they will try to, like they will get these desires just like humans so here it is like these like uh, monsters and that is the reason why they like want to uh, like experience the freedom that humans have they want to see the like sky they want to like fly around in the sky all of these things so that's like natural and not giving them these like uh, what can i say uh, these facilities like these like freedom the basic freedom is not correct uh, because obviously they are a lot similar to the humans the only thing that is different about these xenoses are like their outer appearance and like some of their like special abilities and like uh, these are the only things otherwise they're just like humans so like um, I'm guessing like uh, one question that uh, like they asked uh, is that why are you like uh, like why are you trying to like get outside that is the answer like because they have intelligence they want these things and that's like completely natural and uh, yeah and uh, okay and what else oh another thing we got to know is like Ganesha knows about all of these things and honestly speaking I was not expecting that uh, but as Arana said like he has a tight mouth so he probably won't like say anything even though he is like extremely what can I say um, uh, obnoxious not obnoxious but extremely loud and like extremely expressive like uh, Ganesha uh, he has this like I I'm guessing like uh, he has the like tight lips to keep the secret a secret so yeah and another like interesting thing we got to know is like uh, the monster uh, like monster thing that they hell uh, like holds uh, every year is because like they want to uh, like create this uh, like what can I say make the people less uh, uh, like revulsive towards the monsters like they want them to like get used to the monsters so that is an interesting way and that is also like uh, like interesting uh what can i say uh plan like that might work but it will take a lot of time and uh, <coughs> yeah and obviously hermes knows like uh, hermes like there's uh, like is there anything that hermes does not know i don't think so like he knows everything <laughs> so yeah and uh, fells yeah uh, i was quite surprised to see fells face because i was really not expecting that i was not expecting him to be a skeleton and another thing like one thing like uh, i'm calling fels him but i think fels is a girl because uh, i've played like uh memory of freeze uh, like uh Danmachi, the game the mobile game and as far as i can remember there was like one portion where they said that the fels was a like girl or a woman I don't know i might be wrong like i might be like miss what can i say uh like mixing something things up i might be completely be wrong but i think there was like a portion where it kind of said that so like i think fels is a lady like i don't know uh, like this is just something that uh kind of like came into the game uh i can't quite remember that portion but uh, like uh, that might not be a guy that might be a lady like i'm talking about fels so anyways yeah okay so yeah as, as i was talking about fels like uh like in the previous episode i kind of thought like th they showed fels face to hestia so i thought maybe like they won't show us <laughs> but they did and uh, what can i say like i was really not expecting a skeleton so okay <laughs> all right so yeah and the thing that about fels is i'm like he like uh okay i don't know what know if like fels is a he or she anyways uh, uh fels was a sage when like during uh alive when he was alive he or she was alive uh so like 
he or she like uh, experimented upon like immortality as all like <laughs> all like sages and like scientists do and found out a way what was the way through like living through a skeleton i'm guessing like uh, the the thing that made him or her uh, immune to death is probably that is making him or her like this skeleton thing so if you were a skeleton and uh, like yeah he like he or she can now live forever but i think that was kind of like uh, i did not i don't think that he or she wanted to live this way but what can you do like immortality and all of these things is quite a big deal like uh, in a lot of animals and in everything we've seen like people who try to get the immortality or the like eternal life always like it turns out some like somehow bad for them because that is the god's territory like life and death is god's territory and time is also god's territory so if like you mess with it you're going to get your whole life like what can i say um yeah your, your whole life would get messed up like i've watched science gate and i know what happens if you mess with time and like life and all of these like it will mess you up it will mess your whole life up and yeah that that is god's territory but like the gods here are like living to, uh, like with you so i'm guessing like it is not much of a big deal here but still like it is kind of like a big thing that immortality you're trying to like get immort uh, become immortal like that thing is kind of a big deal and yeah and another thing i was not expecting was uh like uh them taking um win uh, i was really not expecting that but thinking about it now like yeah that is kind of like the rational decision because like uh like bell bell and his team is going to get a, into a lot of problems if uh win stays with them but i don't know like uh yeah like like they like i was not really not expecting that portion but still like thinking about it rationally that is like the only way but still like i i did not think that they're like going to take them away i thought maybe bell was going to like stop them or something but kind of said that we'll meet again so and now like they're in trouble now so i don't know who's going to help them or like they're going to get kidnapped or something and bell is going to like go rescue them or something i don't know but we'll probably get to see that in the next episode and uh, another thing is like i don't know like like they are taking uh wine with them like i expected at least one of the like uh, powerful uh xenos uh, with wine uh, like the harpy or the lizard man or uh the like dragon kind of like guy uh I, I at least expect, I expected one of them to with be with her because like like Wiene is kind of uh, like I don't know like the, like the uh, Ikelos family has the like eyes set on Wiene so like they should have like at least like uh, like left Wiene with one of the like powerful Xenoses but anyways like that is something like they did not see like did not expect to get ambushed and uh, yeah yeah and that was this episode um i don't know what's going to happen next because either bell is going to go save them or uh like or they're probably going to get like captured and bell is going to go save them <laughs> either of these so yeah and there is a lot like a lot of varieties of um uh what is that uh he monsters like uh leagues intelligent monsters a lot of them and uh, like i thought like the the like the, the person like the monster the xenos who was like uh like what can i say like being tortured uh at the ending like portion i thought that was a harpy but apparently that's a siren so is the other like uh harpy also a siren i don't think so i think that is a harpy but this one was a siren so there's like a difference between a harpy and a siren. Sirens are more like uh, who like, as far as I know, like who like uh, live beside the water and like through their singing, uh, they like uh, enrapture people, like people who are like sailing and all, and they like uh, like seduce them and like uh, like what can I say? Like they drag them underwater, like something like that. I'm I think it was something like that. Sirens are like that. 
they're uh, like scions are more kind of like the succubus type like they like uh they has like this tendency of things so there are a lot different from harpies so i don't think like uh like this i don't think like this is how a siren looks like she looks like a harpy like she has feathers and all sirens don't have feathers do they or am i like missing like mixing some them up or something anyways like uh that is something like yeah uh i'll not go into that deep i'll probably check that out later on so yeah guys so yeah guys that was episode number four of tanmachi season three if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, or if you well, have not subscribed please be sure to do so and uh, comment down below uh, your opinion about this episode anything you want to say anything I'm about to share i'll be sure to check them out and uh, so yeah guys i'll be back with a new danmachi episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day